September 28, 2017 630 AM PT by Pamela McClintock Producers Broderick Johnson and Andrew Kozov, who met at Princeton University, before convincing FXX founder Fred Smith to help them launch the film company Alcan Entertainment 20 years ago, are candid. They admit that Alcan's future depends on Blade Runner 2049, the sequel to Ridley Scott's sci-fi epic that hits theaters October 6. This is a chip synthesizer center profitable exercise, says Kozov. After a string of box office wins, most notably, The Blind Side in 2009, Kozov, 47, and Johnson, 50, arrived at a moment of reckoning. Alkin, with a staff of 45, no longer wanted to subsist solely on smaller, one-off movies, however successful Alkin's past slate includes Insomnia, P.S. I Love You, Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, Dolphin Tail and Prisoners. The company, which has a long-term distribution deal with Warner Bros. needed to be in the tentpole franchise business. We were sitting on a substantial balance sheet, adds Kozov. Normally, we would have refinanced the business and taken the shareholder money off the table. We would then make new movies with other people's money. But the high water mark coincided with the financial crisis. The capital markets were tied up. We had two options, go home or take the company to the next level. That meant bigger but riskier bets. If you don't have repetitive cash flow, which is a fancy way of saying being in the sequel business, you are going to be in trouble eventually. Alkin missed its first target, a $100 million redo of Point Break. The 2015 remake earned just $28.8 million domestically and $133.7 million globally. Alkin sold off international rights, mitigating losses, but it was a disastrous experience. Point Break was fundamentally rejected. If we had decided to do a sequel, it would have been perceived differently, says Johnson. Adds Kozov, most people who have a degree of success say they were more shaped by their failures than their successes. We learned a lot of lessons from Point Break. I never want to be involved in a remake again. We were pure of heart, but we offended a lot of people. Remaking Blade Runner was never an option, since the remake rights weren't available. Instead, Kozov and Johnson bought all other rights to the property from the late Bud Yorkin and Cynthia Sykes Yorkin, including sequel rights. Next. They put together an impressive team to make the movie, including enlisting the guidance of Scott and hiring Villeneuve, who helmed prisoners, to direct. Ryan Gosling was cast in the lead role, followed by the announcement that Harrison Ford would reprise the role of Rick Deckard. Blade Runner 2049 cost of net $150 million to make, and was cofinanced by Alkin and Sony each committed to spend $90 million before rebates and tax incentives brought down the budget. Alkin owns the film Sony will release it overseas and get a slice of the profits. Warners is handling the film domestically and will get a fee for its deal with Alkin. We're confident Alkin has delivered another hit, Warner Bros. German CEO Kevin Sujihara says in a statement. Insiders say the movie will need to clear $400 million at the worldwide box office to be considered a win. At Sony Pictures Motion Picture Group chairman Tom Rothman, we feel honored and lucky as hell to collaborate with Alkin, Ridley, Dennis and all the exceptional talent involved in this long eyewitted new chapter in the Blade Runner story to the big screen, where it belongs. Kozov, Johnson and Smith, who put up the initial investment, remain Alkin's only shareholders, meaning unlike many other film financing companies, they don't have to answer to numerous investors. Alkin has a 32-title library that has generated more than $2 billion in revenue. Alkin has also diversified into television, including sci-fi series The Expanse, music and talent management, while its interactive and merchandising units will rely on Blade Runner 2049 to build their portfolios. Is it a winning strategy says Johnson if it works, it transforms what we do. A version of this story first appeared in the September 27 issue of The Hollywood Reporter magazine. To receive the magazine, click here to subscribe. Blade Runner 2049